All right, so I wanted to make a, a video to address um, a bunch of uh, misinformation floating around on the internet and confusion uh, concerning the um, the gas regulator plugs for Shire AUG rifles. So this is, just for reference, a Shire AUG um, A3M1. Um, and the issue is that with the factory gas plugs that you get when you buy this rifle, um, the manual tells you what the first two positions of the gas plug do. There are three positions total, but they do not discuss the third position, which is uh, called GR, and it says stamped into the uh, the piston here. You can see it says GR. That stands for grenade. Um, so there's a first position, which is, I have it in right now, which is called normal. And then if you, in, that's denoted by this big uh, black dot aligning with this small uh, little indent dot on the piston. And when you when you um, push against this these two rabbit ears, and unlock, which unlocks the uh, gas plug and allows you to rotate it to the next position, position two, um, this uh, indented circle will align with the big black push dot, and that's what's called adverse mode. And um, when you move the wheel even further around, um, you're going to be aligning the big black uh, push pin with where it says GR stamped onto the piston for grenade setting. That's position three. So just to clear things up, the normal position just is for regular cycling of um, normal conditions where there's nothing wrong with the rifle, it's not clogged up with dirt or debris or anything like that, uh, just normal semi-automatic fire. The adverse position uh, is for if the rifle is clogged with debris or you're using maybe um, ammunition that uh, is less powerful, has less power, and you need it to cycle properly in those settings. And then the grenade position um, does not allow any cycling to happen because what happens in the grenade setting is, the reason they call it grenade setting is because uh, there are, I guess, in certain types of warfare throughout history, there have been attachments for rifles where uh, you just need the rifle to be single action to have enough... Uh, gas power to launch a really heavy grenade projectile that has a stem that is loaded into the barrel and that's much heavier than um, a bullet so you need as much force as possible so what that does is it blocks any gas from entering the piston that would normally be open to allow gas to push back on the uh, the bolt spring and allow the bolt to cycle um, instead it blocks that so all the, the the power is just concentrated straight through the barrel and none of it shoots off into this piston um, so what makes the normal mode though different from the adverse mode is that the normal mode has a um, both the normal mode and the adverse mode have the same sized hole in this gas plug that lets the gas from the barrel into, enter the piston. But the difference is, is that the uh, outlet hole that lets gas escape this piston um, is smaller in the adverse mode than it is in the normal mode. And that is so that more gas can be siphoned into this piston, uh, less can escape. And, and that way, if you have, let's say, a round, like a type of ammunition that has less powder in it, um, it can harness more of that gas and conserve it to cycle the bolt back um whereas if you had a bigger hole than the normal mode you would be letting more gas escape and you wouldn't be concentrating that gas towards the uh, bolt carrier group and you wouldn't be able to cycle the next round so th that's um, basically what the three different modes are for the normal um factory gas cylinder uh you can think of it as position one two and three one is normal two is adverse and three is grenade um now this is the big uh topic about uh, i want to cover as far as there being misinformation concerning the suppressed version of the gas plug so there's two gas types of gas plugs you can get. There's the factory original, and then there's the suppressed one. Um, the uh, suppressed one... Okay, so I've installed the suppressed version of the gas plug. Um, and this is the factory original. The important thing to note is that they look identical from this end up to the rabbit ears. Um, but what's different about them is not is that they have completely rearranged the orientation of the holes around the uh, internal cylinder here, um, the gas port holes. Um, so let me tell you what is going on with this shit, because there's zero information when you buy a suppressed gas plug about what the different settings are, and there's zero information about the design behind it, zero information about the diameter of the gas holes, fucking zero information, and there's just a lot of misinfo floating around online. So what I've done is I've taken digital calipers and I've measured all the holes on both the factory gas plug and the suppressed version of it, and uh, here's what I have found. I have found that position one for the suppressed version is identical to uh, position one for the factory. So they both have position one as normal mode. And uh, so the hole that lets the gas in from the barrel into the gas piston is the same size. And the hole that lets gas escape the gas piston through this hole right here is also the same size. Now, when you move to position two, this is where things change. So instead of going to adverse mode, like the original gas piston does on the suppressed version of the gas plug, position two is now grenade mode. So in position two on the suppressed gas plug, um, the, uh, the cylinder, of this gas plug is uh, orientated such that no gas can escape the barrel into this chamber. It's blocking. There's no hole being aligned with this. It's just the the metallic wall of the cylinder here. Sorry, this thing keeps getting out of fucking focus. Um, but um, so position two is grenade mode. 
long story short. Position three is suppressed mode. On the original uh, position three is grenade mode, but on the suppressed version, it's suppressed mode. And, and um, here's what I found is different with suppressed mode. So the hole that lets uh, the gas into the, um, the piston on the cylinder is just about the same as it is in normal mode. It's a little over three millimeters diameter, but the hole that lets gas escape the piston is larger than um, the normal mode of the original. So basically what that means is that the hole that lets gas escape this piston on suppressed mode, position three, is larger than any um, hole that lets gas escape on the original cylinder. Um, and I suppose this, I suppose the thought behind that is that when you have a suppressor on the end of this barrel, you're keeping a lot more of that uh, pressure, that gas pressure inside of the system, as opposed to if you didn't have a suppressor where it just escapes the muzzle instantly. So what happens is if you don't increase the size of this hole, what happens is all that pressure um, forces back against the bolt carrier group um, a lot harder and swifter um, so that what happens is, you know, you might jam because your bolt carrier group is cycling so quickly that um, it doesn't load the next cartridge from the magazine up into the uh, chamber and you get stoke piping. Um, so uh, uh, position one on the suppressed version of the gas plug is normal. Position two is grenade. Position three is suppressed. And I guess the reason why they didn't have um, a fourth position for adverse is because, um, as you can see um, on both of these gas plugs, there's only so much room uh, about the circumference of the uh, cylinder here for them to put um, all these little different sized holes. Um, so I guess that's the thinking behind throwing away the adverse mode and replacing it with suppressed rather than having a fourth slot for adverse. Um, and it makes sense for them to throw away adverse if they had to choose between the three modes too, because with um, a suppressor on the rifle, grenade mode does have its place. And I'll tell you um, why you may want to use that in some instance. Um, in grenade mode, because all that gas is staying inside of the barrel and your suppressor, um, and none of it is entering your piston here, it makes the suppressor quieter. Um, of course, it still only allows for single shot because the bolt carrier group does not cycle in the mode, just like the normal gas piston. Um, you know, that doesn't change. But in some instance where you just need your suppressor to be as quiet as you possibly can, um, and you're not concerned with cycling around per se, uh, that may come in handy. Whereas the adverse mode um, doesn't really help with the suppressor uh, because that is the smallest size hole of gas venting that goes on out of all the different modes um, between both of these two different types of gas um, plugs. So that basically serves no purpose, the adverse mode. Um, you want, like I said, uh, the, the biggest hole you possibly could have. Um, not the biggest hole you can have, but just out of all, all the available hole, size holes that are between these two different types of gas pistons, you want, like, the, the larger hole for letting gas out is going to be what um, is best for uh, having the right amount of gas pressure to properly cycle rounds with a suppressor. Um, one thing I'd like to discuss, too, is I have been having issues both with a suppressor on, a, su um, a suppressor off, um, and uh, I tried using both different gas plugs, and I've been having still the same issue where um, when I'm firing, I am cycling in the normal mode. I'm cycling the normal mode of the gas piston. I'm cycling ammunition properly, meaning I'm firing around. The bullet carrier group is being pushed back and then moving forward and cycling the next round into the chamber. But what's happening is when I press the trigger, uh, it won't click. It won't let me pull the trigger all the way back. And that is because the uh, trigger group is not resetting. Um, the trigger group is located right here in the stock. And um, what happened is I had replaced the factory trigger sear um, with a Ratworks Precision 20, or it's called Ratworks is the company, and they make they make the sear basically. That's called the 2020 uh, Precision Sear. And the 2020 Precision Sear is supposed to fix the uh, big complaint a lot of people have about the factory um, trigger, and that's that it's um, it's clunky and that there's too much travel and things like that. It's not like a smooth um, AR style trigger feel, um, and it makes it hard to control your shots. And Ratworks developed a trigger sear that um, basically is just has some slight machining done to make it have a slightly different geometry than the factory original. But what I've uh, come to learn from talking on the phone with the Ratworks guy and uh, getting on forums and digging deep is that some other people have been having this problem to where um, I guess it's related to the linkage bar that is between your trigger um, and the hammer. There's like a little tiny pin located around here that when you push this trigger, it pushes this little pin back, which pushes the hammer or it pushes against the lever that allows the hammer and the trigger group to go forward and hit the firing pin. And I guess with some of the... Um, the uh, Ratworks trigger series that have come out of their shop, um, there is an issue to where they aren't resetting because uh, I, I don't know if they were just machined improperly or if there is you know, a defect, but in any case, um, what the guy told me to do was to take out the receiver from the stock, um, taking out the, both the barrel and the upper receiver. And if you do that and you peer down into 
the, the stock plastic piece from the top, you'll see that directly on top of this trigger, there is a Allen screw. Um, you can't miss it. It's in plain sight. And um, you can basically tighten it or loose it. Um, and he said, try doing both and see if that fixes the problem. And that if it didn't fix the problem, that I could send the uh, the Ratworks sear back to Ratworks and they would uh, basically grind away this like corner of it that they say fixes the problem. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll uh, have an update as to whether or not that fixes the problem. Uh, but yeah, like I said, right now I'm having a problem where my, my trigger is not resetting, but my ammunition is cycling properly. So yeah.